All right, so we're going to talk about amortized loans. And hopefully you watched the other video that kind of gave you the general idea of how an amortized loan works and who it benefits and where the formula comes from. And I would say that amortized loans is probably one of the most important things we're going to talk about in this class uh, because it is something that probably every one of you will see at some point. Um, if you buy a house someday, you're going to get an amortized loan. If you buy a car, you're probably going to get an amortized loan. If you get a student loan, you're definitely getting an amortized loan. And so what makes a, an amortized loan special is that you only pay interest on what you owe. So you only uh, pay interest on what you actually owe. So when you make a payment, all right, some of that payment is going to go towards the interest, and some of that payment is going to go towards paying down the principal. And then what happens is the next month, uh, your principal is lower, so you actually accrue a little less interest, and more of your payment goes to principal, and so on and so on. So in the previous video, they talked conceptually about the amortized loan, and then they also showed you the formula. I'm not going to have you calculate the payment. If you notice that formula, is pretty crazy, and while we can calculate it, I just feel like we have apps that can calculate it, and I think there's some important things in finance that are they're just much more important to understand, like how much interest you're going to pay. So for example, um, last October, I bought this car, this car that you see in the picture. It was my dream car. It was a Toyota uh, 4Runner. And honestly, it's probably not a car that I could ever afford to buy brand new. Um, but my uh, previous car was totaled in an accident. And the com insurance company sent me a check for like $20,000. And I only paid $10,000 for that car because it was from a family member. So um, anyway, so for simplicity's sake, we're going to say that the total for the car... It was 42000 It was uh, close to that number. And to me, that is very, very expensive for a car. Uh, but I made a down payment. Okay, So uh, my down payment was $20,000 because that's what the insurance gave me. So remember, down payment is what you pay up front. So down payment was $20,000. All right, so I had to borrow... Uh, the remaining amount. So to figure out what I had to borrow, what my principal was, that's 42,000 minus 20,000 equals 22,000. So this is what I had to borrow. Now, um, given the interest rate and the time of the loan, we could calculate what my monthly payment would be. But like I said, I don't want to focus on that. I really want to focus on like how much you're really going to have to pay and how much interest you're going to have to pay. All right, so uh, I have to borrow 22000 okay? So uh, the gentleman, the salesman, he runs some numbers, and he's like, okay, so this is what your payment's going to be. So he calculates a payment of 402 so that's the monthly payment. Okay, so, well, when I think about the monthly payment, um, they, they just tell me the monthly payment, but in, in my head or on my phone calculator, uh, what I did was I want to figure out the total that I'm going to pay uh, for the loan. So the total paid for the loan or the total paid back and by the way, this was a five-year loan. That's a pretty standard car loan. All right, so my payment would be $402, kind of a hefty payment, uh, and 19 cents. That's what they came up with. So $402 and 19 cents times 60. Okay. So why is it 60? It was a, it's because it was a five-year loan times 12 months. So five times 12 is 60 months. So if I do that, 
The total that I pay back on the loan is $24,131.40. Okay. And how about the interest? Because that's really what I, I'm interested in is like, how much is this costing me? How much free money am I giving away for this loan? So the interest, okay, um, is going to be twenty-four thousand one hundred and thirty. Uh, let me, hold on, let me write it down below. It's going to be twenty-four thousand one hundred thirty-one dollars and forty cents minus what I borrowed, which was. 22,000. All right, so that would be interest $2,131.40. So on top of the $42,000 car, uh, I'm also paying $2,131.40 uh, in interest. Okay. So the total paid, this is something to keep in mind, the car was 42000 right? That was the down payment plus the loan, everything. So 42000 plus the interest of $2,131.40. So overall, it's a $44,000 car. That's how much this is costing me. Okay, so... I'm paying them $2,131.40 to borrow money from them. And those are things that you have to keep in mind, right? Because you want to know, like, how much is this really costing you? All right, so that wasn't too bad. The only thing I didn't like about that was the payment, like $402. Seems like a, a lot of payment. I've never had a car payment. I've always bought cars used. Uh, so I was like, I don't know about committing myself to a $402 payment. Well, don't worry. The insurance guy says, we can lower your payment. He's like, look, let me see what I can do. So the salesman, I think I called him insurance guy earlier, the salesman guy, he crunches some more numbers, right? And he's like, okay, look, for a seven-year loan, okay, then your payment will be $297.69, okay? And that's for a seven-year loan, right? So he's like, look how, look what a good job I did. I got your payment down to under $300 a month. And I'm thinking, yeah, I can afford that. Like, you know, no big deal. All right, but what's the question I'm always asking? It's like, how much money is this gonna cost me? It seems like a good deal, $297.69, cents. I got that. So 200, let's figure out the total I'm going to pay back. Total paid back. All right. So that's going to be $297.69 times what? What am I multiplying this by this time? Right. So it's a seven-year loan, and you're making a monthly payment. So seven times 12 is 84. So that is $25,005.96, okay? So that's the total I'm gonna to have to pay back. And remember, I wanna know how much is this costing me? Like, what's, what's the free money that I'm giving away? Which is what we call the interest. So the interest is the 25,000 minus the amount that I borrowed, the 22,000. Right, and that is $3,005.96. So notice that my interest uh, went up. My payment went down, like the payment was great, okay? Love that payment, but the interest, the interest went up by almost $1,000, okay? So I'm giving away an extra $1,000 to um, borrow the money and have a lower payment for, so I, I'm not here to tell you that one loan is better than the other. I mean, obviously saving money is good, right? Like, like I, I'd really prefer if I'm going to give away money, uh, I want to give away less. But if you can't afford a $400 payment, 
um, then you you need that extra income during the month, then maybe the seven-year loan is better. Or another option, maybe you get a cheaper car. Okay. Um, so what's this one costing us uh, in total? Let's see. So the total paid it was all together. It was uh, forty-two thousand for the price out the door, plus the interest. So that's forty-five thousand five dollars and ninety-six cents. Okay, so a forty-five thousand dollar car. I feel guilty just saying that. Um, I actually did get the five-year loan, uh, but another option that I have is I can make extra payments, so I can um, pay it off early, and then that means I'll actually end up owing lo uh, less interest. They kind of discourage you from doing that, so on the website when I go to make my payments, if you pay extra, so instead of paying 400 that month, if I pay, say, $600, they're, they're, they try to be tricky and they, um, they apply the 200 to your next payment, so it's not really bringing down your principal. You actually have to call them and say, I want to pay extra and I want it to go towards bringing the principal down. Um, so these are money things that you guys got to be aware of, and uh, I hope that somewhere in life when you go to buy a car, you think of me.